IBM Flash Copy Manager version 3.2. First, I will navigate to the configuration wizard and configure a TSM configuration. As you can see here, we can configure Microsoft SQL Server, Microsoft Exchange, and also file systems. The configuration is practically the same for all three supported applications and databases. I click Next and I can visualize the details that occur during configuration. I have some warnings here and the warnings basically lead me to the web pages where I can install the VSS providers. Um, here I can configure the TSM node names. I will go with the defaults here. Same here. We also have a built-in function to configure the TSM server. You can test the communication. And in my case, the TSM server is up and running. So I can simply click Next here. And I can choose a default configuration. And yet again, show the details of the configuration progress. The configuration will go through various steps. So it will provision a VSS uh, requester and also configure the TSM server automatically. We have some uh, warnings here. but as you can see it did configure automatically the TSM server for me. So click, click Next and now I see file system is configured Flash Copy Manager version 3.2 Finish. This was basically it. I am now able to take snapshot backups of the local file system and also leverage our new custom application support. I navigate to protect and recover data. From here I can choose what I would like to protect. I'm choosing file system here and as you can see I get all the volumes on that machine available for selection. I pick the H drive and I go into the properties and this is where I can define a pre and a post snapshot command. These commands are executed before the actual hardware snapshot occurs and after the snapshot occurs. So if I have an application running on that Windows NTFS file system, I can quiesce it and after the snapshot I can resume that application. So this gives us custom application support. If you are only snapshotting the file system then you would not need uh, pre and post snapshot commands. Let's apply those and here I have a choice of my backup destination. So I can choose whether I want to create a local snapshot or whether I want to create a snapshot inside a TSM or whether I want to do both. In my case I'm choosing both. So in this case, we're using VSS as a backup methodology, so a snapshot is being created, and then the snapshot is left locally for quick restores, but it's also sent into the TSM server. I click on Full Backup here, and we can now check the progress of this backup. One comment here, we are using the TSM image backup function in order to move that snapshot into TSM. So it is being moved into TSM as basically one object that is an image backup. So each volume represents an object so we're not storing the individual files we are storing the whole volume as a whole. So the backup is still working here. We 
you can actually see the progress in percent and it succeeded so our backup was successful and we can now go to the recovery tab and from here we do see the volume H as being restorable and if I move a little bit to the right here we can see the backup location so this is a local snapshot and this one is a snapshot that is inside TSM server I can restore either one right from here we can also see whether compression and or duplication was turned on and the same is true for encryption so we can leverage either one of these advanced functions all we have to do to restore is just click on the restore button right from here and now the restore will be performed let's have a quick look while this uh, works into the properties here there is a new feature that we have available now with flash copy manager version 3.2 which allows us to perform a just-in-time import of a VSS snapshot and this function is under VSS backup there is a new option now I came with flash copy manager version 3.2 import VSS snapshots only when needed so you can choose whether you want to import a snapshot on the production or the backup host or not it depends on your scenario uh, it helps for scenarios that allow you to integrate another backup vendor with flash copy manager this is now um, possible and configurable right here or it also gives you the option that in case if you're using flash copy manager standalone without a TSM server you can just never mount the VSS snapshot and only use it in recovery scenarios so this is a new option that came with version 3.2 and we can now uh, quickly review our restore so our restore also succeeded and the H drive has been brought back just the way it was before in this case I choose to restore from the TSM server I could have also chosen to restore from the local snapshot for Microsoft SQL Server we also have an update and uh, the update is basically that we support uh, DAG for Microsoft uh, SQL Server The process that I just showed you for the file system recovery was available prior to version 3.2 but with version 3.2 this has been integrated into the graphical user interface and into the command line so whether you snapshot SQL server exchange server or plain file systems or custom applications the configuration is exactly the same and we do support to mount those snapshots on an offloaded server and or transparently move them into TSM server thank you very much